In this presentation, I'm going to go through some of the key features and benefits of the Century CC1206 battery charger and maintainer. The CC1206 is a 12 volt, 6 amp, 9 stage lead acid battery charger and maintainer with reconditioning mode. It can be used to charge and maintain an extensive range of 12 volt conventional lead acid batteries including maintainable flooded, sealed maintenance free or SMF calcium, absorbed glass mat or AGM and gel electrolyte battery types. The charger can be used for a variety of applications including car and passenger vehicles, motorcycles, 4x4s, SUVs, power sports and lawn and garden equipment and will charge batteries rated up to 120 ampere hours and maintain batteries rated up to 180 ampere hours. Some of the key features of the CC1206 is the one button battery type selection key. You have the option to charge sealed maintenance free calciums, absorb glass mat, maintainable flooded or gel battery types. Another key feature is the one button adjustable charge rate. So you have the options to do one amp, three amp, or six amps, which gives you the versatility to charge a wide range of different battery capacities. The charger also has three volt activation, which enables you to charge heavily discharged or sulfated batteries, and in conjunction with the painted and battery reconditioning mode, when the battery is heavily discharged, the charge will automatically activate the rejuvenization feature to repair the sulfated battery. The CC1206 also includes heavy duty corrosion resistant output connectors that comes with crocodile clips and ring terminals for customer fitment convenience. It also has eco mode which provides ultra low power consumption when the charger is on but not connected to the battery or when in maintenance mode. And the intelligent charging technology gives you the added convenience to have the charger connected to the battery 24 7 when required. The CC1206 has many built-in safety features, including reverse polarity protection. So if you accidentally connect the battery charger leads to the incorrect battery post, the charger will automatically detect this and illuminate the fault LED. Another safety feature is the short circuit protection. So if you accidentally touch the output connectors together, it won't damage the charger. And finally, the charger also has overheat protection. So if the charger gets too hot, it will reduce the charging current to protect the internals. In summary, the CC1206 has been designed for Australia and New Zealand conditions. It has a five year warranty, is easy to use, reliable, and will improve the battery's performance and service life. Before using the CC1206 battery charger, we highly recommend to read through the important safety advice and warnings detailed in the owner's manual. To start with, always ensure the battery is in a well ventilated area during charging. Lead acid batteries contain sulfuric acid that is highly corrosive and during charging the battery produces hydrogen and oxygen that is extremely explosive. We always recommend to wear personal protection equipment including eye protection, chemical resistant gloves and coveralls to protect yourself while charging a battery. Now before connecting the CC1206 charger to a battery, there are a few key pre-checks we need to perform on the battery. First, you need to check the battery voltage, the type and the ampere hour capacity to ensure the charge is compatible and to determine which battery type and charge rate setting you'll use. Check the battery's case and cover and if there's any signs of physical damage including cracks or leaks. Check the battery terminals for any physical damage and remove any built up corrosion. You need to check the battery's electrolyte levels. For sealed maintenance free types, you can view the state of charge indicator on top of the battery. The state of charge indicator gives you a snapshot of the battery's condition, whether it's charged, whether it's undercharged and needs charging, or if the battery is low on electrolyte levels and needs to be replaced. For maintainable types, remove the vent plugs and check the electrolyte levels are covering the battery plates. And if too low, top up with distilled water. When using the CC1206 battery charger and maintainer, it's important that you select the correct charge rate option for the battery you're charging. The common mistake many people make is to use the highest charge rate setting, not realising it could actually damage the internal components, reducing battery life. The recommended charging amps for a flooded lead acid battery is 10% of its ampere hour rating. For an absorbed glass mat and gel battery, this can be increased to 20% of its ampere hour rating. 
So for example, if you have a 50 ampere hour lead acid flooded battery, you'd require a 5 amp charger. For an absorbed glass mat and gel battery, you could go up to a 10 amp charger. The CC1206 has three charge settings, one amp, three amps, and six amps. The six amp or rapid charge mode will charge a range of lead acid batteries between 18 and 120 ampere hours and will maintain batteries up to 180 ampere hours. During this mode, the internal fan may engage from time to time if the charger gets hot. The three amp or silent charge mode will charge a range of lead acid batteries between nine and 60 ampere hours and will maintain batteries up to 110 ampere hours. This charge rate is ideal for use with motorcycles, power sports and lawn and garden applications. And the one amp or maintenance mode will charge a range of lead acid batteries between three and 20 ampere hours and will maintain batteries up to 100 ampere hours. I'm now going to demonstrate the nine stage charging process of the Sentry CC1206 battery charger and maintainer with a reconditioning mode. Stage one, qualification. When the charger is first switched on, it checks the battery condition to determine whether the battery needs rejuvenization or a standard charge cycle. Stage two, rejuvenization mode. If the initial qualification mode detects that the battery was in poor condition, the patented rejuvenization process will begin automatically. During the rejuvenization process, a high voltage equalizing and peak pulse reconditioning charge is used to repair the battery. Stage three, soft start charging. This gently charges the battery using a reduced charge output until the battery reaches 11 volts. Stage four, bulk charging. This uses the maximum selected charge rate output until the battery reaches the preset bulk charging voltage for the battery type. Stage five, absorption charging. This uses a constant voltage while reducing the charging output current to ensure the battery receives a full charge without overcharging the battery. Stage six, equalization charging. This is a well proven process that carefully overcharges the battery to restore its full capacity. The equalization stage for sealed maintenance free calcium flooded batteries is automatic. The equalization stage for absorbed glass mat, maintainable flooded and gel battery types only occurs if the initial start voltage is below 11 volts. Stage seven, battery analysis. This stage analyzes the condition of the battery after the charge cycle is completed. If the battery voltage drops too quickly during the analysis mode, this means the battery is probably faulty. Stage eight, float mode. This stage allows you to keep the charger connected 24 seven to ensure your battery is well maintained and kept at 100% fully charged. Float mode will maintain the battery at a constant 13.6 volts. Stage nine, long-term maintenance. During long-term maintenance or float mode, the unit will apply a special pulse charge to ensure the battery is kept in optimal condition. I'm now going to show you how to charge a lead acid battery using the Sentry CC1206 battery charger and maintainer. Once you have completed the pre-checks on the battery and battery charger, you can then proceed with the steps on connecting the charger to the battery. Now before we begin, we need to check the battery charger is turned off from the mains power before connecting to the battery. Once confirmed, connect the red charger lead to the positive battery post, then connect the black charger lead to the negative battery post. We can now turn on the charger. Once the AC power is connected, the charger will then automatically start. Once activated, we need to select the correct battery type and charge rate for the battery within five minutes of charging. In this demonstration, we are charging a sealed maintenance free calcium flooded battery. Press the select battery type button until the SMF calcium LED light is illuminated. As you can see from the LED indicator displays, you have the options to test SMF calcium, AGM and maintainable flooded and gel. It is really important to select the right battery type to ensure the correct charging strategy for the battery. We now need to set the charging rate. 
If you are unsure of what the charging rate to use, refer to the battery types and capacity section in the owner's manual. I'm now going to select the 6 amp rapid charge mode. Once selected, the charger will automatically go through its 9 stage charging process and when completed, will switch to maintenance mode and illuminate the full LED indicator. So once charged, switch off and remove the AC socket from the outlet. We can now remove the charger leads from the battery. Remove the black charger lead first, followed by the red charger lead. 